Good morning, this is just a quick video on how I went about making the Crush Bandicoot charms for this beaded piece and stay to the end if you want to be a part of the giveaway to win this. Starting with the crystal I mixed in some purples and some pinks with a fair bit of white translucent. I shaped that into a rectangular prism. When I was happy with the size that I created I put that in the freezer for a few minutes to help firm up the clay a bit. I lightly scored the clay at about the one third mark and marked the centre down at the bottom end. Using these marks as a guide I then used my straight blade. This is a little bit hard to explain but basically I am cutting from the halfway mark at the bottom and tapering off to that one third mark further up. Flip it over and do the same thing for the other side. Flip it again and continue that for the other two sides. Now that we have the sharp point at the bottom of the crystal, I cut off a flat face at the top. Stand the crystal up on its end and then cut down from the one third mark to the center base and I do this for all four corners. I attached an eye pin into the top and then put the whole crystal in the oven to bake. After it is cooled I use some light pink paint and the needle tool to apply the paint to the edges of the crystal to bring out the highlights. Moving on to the green nitro box. For the inside of the box I used some cheaper grey clay to take up some of the space. I got a pack of square cutters off of eBay for $1 and these worked perfectly for covering the outside of the box with the green. I cut out some thin green strips for the details of the nitro box. Keep adding onto it until it looks like this. For the TNT box I mixed in a bunch of different reds and again adding those strips for the details. I threaded the boxes onto a skewer so I didn't have to hang on to it when trying to clean up the joints. I also kept them on the skewer for baking. I added some orange in with some browns to create the checkpoint box and the life box but I wish I added a bit more of the orange. For the checkpoint and question mark symbols I rolled out some thin yellow clay, carefully shaping them and keeping them all the same size. After baking them I left them on the tile and carefully painted around the edges with some red paint. For the TNT and nitro symbols I had some really small letter stamps that I also got from eBay a while back. I pressed as many letters as needed into some thin yellow clay, carefully cutting around each one until you have something that looks like this. I used some yellow paint to create the stripes on the nitro and TNT boxes. Moving on to the life box with Crush Bandicoot's face on it. I have the box pre-baked and my colours all picked out. I have a little orange oval as a starting point, making some tiny little triangle ears and some spiky red hair, some light pink for the back cheek. Most of this footage is out of focus and really hard to watch so I didn't put it in but basically we're just building up layers from what you'd picture being behind and just keep adding higher and higher. Putting his little nose on at the end. Moving on to Aku Aku and Uka Uka. Aku's face is narrower and longer and Uka's face is shorter and wider. I score some straight lines to create the wooden palings and then some finer shorter lines to create the wooden texture. They both have the same size yellow eyes and I dust the perimeter with some orange chalk pastels. Place them into position and I used a little bit of bake and bond to keep them there. I said that's super slow and weird because if I didn't it sounds like I'm saying bacon. <laughs> Aku has a little bit of green under his eyes and Uka has two thirds of a green ring around his eyes. I sketch out a bit of a lightning bolt pattern for Uka Uka's headband, cut that out with a scalpel, place it on and moving on to the eyebrows. Uka's eyebrows are very angled and grumpy. Aku's eyebrows are a lot more orange and they are just rectangles. Added some wood texture to both of their eyebrows. Uka Uka has sharp scary teeth 
and Aku Aku has straight flat teeth. Now for this glorious beard. I keep placing textured triangles around the bottom half of his jaw. For the lips, I roll out some brown clay and carefully place that around the teeth. Add it on their noses. Moving on to the bones around Uka's head, I roll out two small white teardrop shapes, pinch them together and poke the end into a brown cylinder piece. I rolled out some thin brown clay to use as the straps around the bones. I attached four lengths of wire into Aku Aku's head to make the feathers a lot more secure. Made the stem first, cut out and textured a feathered shape with some notches out of it. I did the same thing for the other three feathers. After they were baked, I flipped them over face down on the tile with a sheet of paper underneath them. I added some bacon bond and added these little loops. Poked a hole in each side and added a little silver ball with a cross on it just to make it look a little nicer. I used some fishing line and cheap beads to bring this piece together. If you'd like to try and win this piece then make sure you are subscribed and then write whatever you like down in the comments section below to enter. The giveaway will close in two weeks from when the video first goes live. If you like Crash Bandicoot as much as I do, then you might be interested in checking out some of my other videos. If you like this video or found it somewhat helpful, then give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give me a thumbs down if you like, but either way, I hope I see you next time.